Okay, this is a 2007 Audi Q7 with a 3.6 liter engine. Um, there's another model that has a 4.2, which is a V8. Um, its engine is set up a little different. So in this engine, to get to the... Um, I'm going to be replacing both of my camshaft position sensors. And let me kind of explain why real quick. So I've got an engine code on that's a P0016. Uh, um, I've got the Ebon uh, factory manual up here. And what it's showing here is that uh, the first thing when I click on this, it goes through instructions for how to check the, um, the camshaft adjustment valves. And I've already done all of that and I didn't see any problems with the wiring or anything like that. Um, the next step that you do is you check the camshaft position sensors. And I decided to just buy new ones and just replace them rather than checking them. Um, but just to give you an idea of how this looks. So here's the engine and okay from the front view when you flip it over to the back um, right here are your two camshaft adjustment valves and you can replace these sometimes they do go bad I think mine are okay uh, these two are the position sensors so you can see that they go just like that so to get to those on the engine, you've got to reach back behind and you've got to pretty much feel. I used a mirror to see where they are before, but one of them is right here, just right there. And the other one you have to kind of reach back about right there and you'll be able to feel them. You can access it with a, about a one or two inch um, extension on a quarter inch drive. And the size is, let's see, I forgot what my size is here. Hold on one sec. It's a T27. So uh, you can ideally just reach back and use your T27 to undo the one screw. You can see that on here there's only one, one screw for each one. And you have to unplug it as well. All right, here we go. Here, I'm going to try to show you what, what it looks like. If I can get the angle right on here, um, let's see here. Tricky to do with the phone. Uh, well, you can see it right there. Right there, you can see the screw for it. So that's the first one. So there's what the bolt looks like. See about how big it is. I used a magnet and I put it underneath when I unscrewed it just to make sure I didn't drop it behind the engine. That worked out pretty well. You can see what that looks like when it's out. Easiest way to get it out is you can see the tab right here. Kind of tricky to get the camera angle but you can use a flathead screwdriver to push in right here and push this tab outward and then you just pull it out and it should come up pretty easy. Remember to lubricate that um, that ring to help it to go in easier. And just use a mirror to make sure you line it up and also you want to twist it a couple times and kind of and push it. It should kind of pop in and then you want to line it up so that the hole is ready for the screw to go in there. Okay I just finished the back one. It was definitely a tight space with reaching around back here. I was pretty much sitting on top of the engine and um, what made it a lot easier was having a wobble um, and a quarter inch. This is a two inch extension. Um, another thing you want to keep in mind is when you tighten these up uh, I think the torque was somewhere around 22 newton meters which is a few inch pounds um, so you definitely don't want to over tighten them because you You'd risk uh, maybe breaking the plastic on them. All right, let's 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 see what happens here. It's been a few days since I replaced the camshaft position sensors, and I used an OBD2 sensor to clear the codes in the system, I think two or three times, and they keep coming back. The P0016 code keeps coming back. So just so you know that that didn't work for me it didn't fix the problem so if you're thinking of doing the same thing I'd probably recommend trying something else 
I didn't really do a detailed check on the wires and I'm kind of thinking there might be a break in a wire somewhere. So I'm going to have somebody help me check that out and I'll, I'll uh, post on the comments if, if I find out that that's what the issue is. Thanks.